Welcome. In front of me I have the Honor X8C and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. Now when you boot up for the first time you will be presented with the same screen that you can see on my device and all you need to do is find your desired language from the list then select get started and then select your region which as far as I can tell doesn't really mean anything so you can choose whichever one you want. Next we have terms of use so we have end user uh, license agreement and we have uh, basic service statements. Now you can read what you are actually agreeing to by clicking on the detail button um, but at the end of the day you do need to check the box and then you can go to the next page otherwise you won't be able to finish up the setup if you don't agree with any of either one of those. Next we have uh, insert sim card. This step is completely optional. You, you don't need to do it. Uh, I mean, you don't want to. Uh, and on these devices, you can skip connecting to network as for instance, Huawei phones will not allow you to finish up the setup without connecting to network. Here, you can. So if you choose to skip both of those, uh, date and time will not be set automatically, hence why it's showing up right here. If you connect it to anything like uh, mobile network or Wi-Fi, this page will not show up as date and time will be automatically set through the network. Also, you won't have the option to log into Google account and uh, won't have the option to restore apps and the data from a cloud backup. Now, on the next page, we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off if you want to, but let's be honest, it's Google, so it's not like they're the uh, pinnacle of trustworthiness. And there is a reason why corpos are getting sued uh, with the class action lawsuits left and right. And it's not because they are such an upholding citizens. So I'm just going to ignore this as I genuinely don't think it has much of an impact no matter what you select there. And next we have data and privacy. Again, very rich options right here coming from a device that is running Android from a company that, uh, that got banned for, well, the exact opposite of privacy. So um, you can tap on details and uh, read the exact bogus that they're gonna be telling you. And at the end of the day, you just get to select continue. Now, next we have protecting your device. And we have a couple of different methods of doing so. We have fingerprint, face recognition, and then pin pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use any of the biometric options, meaning the fingerprint or face recognition, you'll always be forced to select the screen lock as biometric isn't 100% reliable. So in cases where you can't unlock your device using your face or your fingerprint for some reason, uh, that would leave you with a physical way like the pin pattern or password. So you will always need to do that. Now, you can just select pin pattern or password as your unlocking method and not use fingerprint or face recognition, that's an option. Now, another option would be to just not protect your device at all, which you can do that, although I would not recommend this. Next of enhanced services, uh, you can read exactly what this is. Uh, I perceive all of these as kind of just data gathering, no matter how, how it's packed and sugar-coated. So I'm just gonna select no thanks. User experience improvement programs, again, same thing later. Uh, location services. Uh, here you can select later. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to keep the location actually turned off if it does. Uh, a lot of applications require location services so they will start nagging you that uh, they need it even though they really don't uh, but without that they might not work. So what will happen is if you deny location services to certain applications that well truthfully don't have any business having your location they just straight up will not function and will just close out on you so be mindful of that anyway i'm gonna click later keep software uh, keep your software up to date uh, you can just select it to a manually uh, either update it manually or have it automatically update on its own here you can choose your system navigation and you have two options, the gesture navigation and three button. Three button is basically the old school one. The gesture is the swiping from like sides without any kind of buttons visible, at least before you swipe. And choose whichever one you prefer. You can also go to the gesture tutorial if you want to, if you never used it, highly recommend it. And select finish. And this takes you straight up to your home screen. So. If you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.